Welcome to Scorched Earth and a general reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon or Ascendant for the month of November, if you can believe that, <clears throat> 2021. I hope you are using the uh, Pagan Otherworlds Tarot for you today. There will be an extended at the end of this if it resonates with you and you'd like to go a bit deeper. That's the first link in the description box. And the second link is to the six month the, the, what now the six month overviews that I did for each of the signs uh, that run from July to December. I've knocked those right down now because obviously there's only two months left. But if you want to have a look, see what the rest of the year might have in store for you, then that's the link for you. Do I have anything else to say? Whew, no, except that the next the next few weeks, possibly the next six weeks, are going to be pretty intense. So, just be warned, be aware. I'll shut the window in a moment. So, let's have a look and see what's going on with you, Gemini. Can I have three cards for Gemini, please? Good. Cards are really fucking about today, right? <clears throat> Right, we have the King of Wands in reverse for your recent past. I have current energy for Gemini, please. Oop. We have the Knight of Wands in the upright. And what's coming towards Gemini in November, please? We have the Five of Wands and the Page of Swords. That's interesting. We've got the Six of Cups sitting here at the bottom of the deck. And the, the, the first thing that I heard when I looked at these, when I, when the, the Knight of Wands came over, is that something that you've been trying to do hasn't really paid off in some way. Like, it's not really panning out the way that you intended it to do. And there's, a, there's an energy of going back to the drawing board here and not quite starting again, but starting from an earlier point that you were at. Kind of, oh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Reassessing. You know, I'm coming back to the save point in the Wheel of Fortune. I can't remember if that came out for you in any of the previous readings that I've done recently, but I do remember saying to a few signs that from this point on, like, if something cocks up in the future, you're not going to be going right back to the beginning. You're going to be coming back to this save point here and redoing something. You know? <clears throat> let's get some clarifiers anyway and let's see what this is about. Tell me about the King of Wands, please. Ooh. Got the Seven of Cups and whatever that is, and the Four of Cups here. Yeah, that makes sense. Tell me about the Knight of Wands, please. Oh, my life. We've got the Knight of Cups and the Five of Cups. Tell me about this Five of Wands and Page of Swords. We have Death. Way there's loads of cards coming out here. What do we have here? Five of Pentacles in reverse, Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so the message is don't fucking <laughs> there it is. Look, the Wheel of Fortune. How funny, right? <clears throat> the message is don't despair because whatever hasn't worked out quite to plan the way that you anticipated doing it, if you are not able to move in a direction that you anticipated that you would be moving in when everything looked like it was going well. Don't worry, it's just a few steps back that you're needing to take here. So this King of Wands is Leo energy. And this way up it talks about taking action on something, right? you know, decisive action, very swift action, very confident, bold action in a particular direction. This is a lack of movement. This is not being able to go somewhere, right? It's to some degree feeling a little bit disempowered by something and we can see that reflected in the clarifiers here we've got the seven of cups and the four of cups here emotional confusion potentially illusion but also a sense of of rejection you know <clears throat> definitely feeling like you've been kicked back on something that you thought was going to go really rather well and didn't now <clears throat> And all of the feelings that go along with that, like I thought that this was going to work, I totally thought that this was the way, I thought that this was going to be good, and then it's just like, no, door shut, and you're like, well, shit, where do I go from here? And it's likely that you've kind of been sat 
nursing some wounds about it. Like, I don't understand. Why has this not worked out? What does this say about my idea? What does this say about what I was bringing to the table? You know, it's easy to feel like that is a rejection. The message is that it isn't. It just needed a bit of a reworking. And sometimes, actually, you, you need to be kicked back so that you come back stronger next time. And, and I feel like this is where you're going here because the card that you have in your current energy is the Knight of Wands. Sagittarius energy. It's a step down, a couple of steps down from the king. But like I was saying with this, like <clears throat> it's not going right back to the beginning. The bones of what you have, the bones of what it is that you've been trying to do are good. They are right. They just require a little bit of um, <clears throat> refinement, I think, being honed. Now I'm going to break my own rules because I am going to pull out another deck here. Try not to get get out a third, you know. If you've ever had a personal reading with me, you know I end up with about 60 decks on my entire table covered. When I come back to it the next morning, I'm like, how did I make any sense of that at all? Shut this fucking up. <clears throat> so we have you going back a little, but not to the beginning altogether, you know, and, and this can have its it's going to have its expression in all sorts of ways, you know. It could have been some sort of creative project. It could have been some sort of idea for a job or for a business, you know. Whatever it is, it seems like there's been a door slammed in your face and you've had, understandably, some very difficult emotions associated with that. But it's not kept you down because we have these two knights here. We've got the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. It seems like you've got your emotions about this in good order. And you're like, no, actually... I'm not going to let this put me off altogether, you know, it's, there's a very resilient spirit here. <clears throat> but we do have this Five of Cups, and I'm intrigued as to why this Five of Cups is here, because that is an energy of loss. Now, I would understand it if it appeared over here, but it's appearing here when things are starting to move forwards again. You know, it could be that you've just been very, very stuck for a while. Why is the Five of Cups appearing right here, please? What do we have? We have the Sun and we have the Six of Wands, interestingly enough. Okay, well, that makes perfect sense then, because I've got the star at the bottom of the deck there, Aquarian Energy. Talks about hope, talks about vision for the future. You know, it, it's a very visionary energy, and we have this idea of going back and recycling, but kind of like reordering our ideas. You know, it, it like I said, it could be in any any way. It will be different for each of you, but there was something that stopped that is now slowly restarting again. Well, maybe not that, re that slowly, actually. Well, the Six of Wands, the Knight of Wands, these are all quite swift moving cards. But the point of the Five of Cups is, this agent of chaos, as the, the Five of Cups is, is that it was necessary for you to go through what has just happened in order for you to come back stronger, come back with a better idea, come back perhaps even with more... <clears throat> more force than you initially started out with. Because whatever it is that you're trying to do, you are absolutely on the right path with it. We see that here with the star card, we see it with the six of wands, we see it with the, the sun. But it does say that something about this previous disappointing experience was important for you to learn. Now, the two of cups is underneath here. Actually, the King of Wands is here too, which is really, really interesting. The Two of Cups is underneath there. So this could be a relationship <clears throat> that didn't quite get off the ground of any description. But it does suggest that there was another person that was somehow the fly in the ointment here. The way that the reading is going, though, it suggests to me that it's a really good time to step back and see what your part in this was, right? What has it brought up in you? Has it brought up in you the fact that actually your confidence can be very easily knocked by something, in which case, you know, more work on the self-worth and, and whatnot <clears throat> might well be necessary. But there was definitely something for you to learn. Definitely something for you to learn in terms of something that you were trying to drive forwards with. <clears throat> I think this is going to be a very quick reading, Gemini, I have to say. So what we've got coming towards you 
interestingly, in November, is the Five of Wands and the Page of Swords. Now, the Five of Wands often talks about conflict. It talks about strife, you know. Um, but in the pagan other worlds, depicted as it is without another character on here, it speaks to me about internal strife, internal tension almost. <clears throat> Because it seems to me what you have learned is something about yourself that you did not see. Well, the energy absolutely supports that at the moment. Astrologically, there's an awful lot going on. If you are a member of my Patreon, you will have seen the video that I did on this particular Mercury retrograde and why it has been very different. Now, uh, Mercury went direct yesterday in the UK. It's the 19th today when I'm recording this. Um, but there are now things happening with Mars and Pluto and Eris that are causing this kind of tension going on. It's also showing us bits of ourselves that we did not see before. And <clears throat> it's showing us the truth of things in front of us that we did not see before, like things that were obvious that we did not see. Now, your eyes are open now, Gemini, and I wonder if this is perhaps something outside of your you, that, that you're seeing in November that you can only now see because of what you just dealt with back here. I was just, um, I just did the Taurus reading before I did this one, and I was saying in the, in the Vimeo for that one, like, I often get the jump on the energy before it presents properly for everyone, and it's almost like the universe going, here, Here's what everybody else is going to be going through. You're going to have some of this. Now, the, the energy has been really, really intense for me since the very beginning of September. And a lot of the things that I have been working with, a lot of the themes that I've been working in, in my own personal work, are about seeing parts of myself that I didn't see before. I think that this is what is happening for you. I want to point out that I also have the tower at the bottom of the deck here. I didn't even notice that. <clears throat> and where you have been at conflict with yourself, like where you have seen uh, now the ways in which potentially you hold yourself back, you know, where the self-sabotage is, perhaps this is something that is informed what didn't get off the ground here. Now you've seen it, now you can do something about it. But I wonder if it's outside of you now that you're starting to see things that you did not see before, perhaps things that don't make sense. Like, it's almost like you've got fresh eyes. <clears throat> Or it could just be further internal revelations. It's possible. But w whatever it is, the energy of November is going to be super, super intense. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. And it seems like it will be intense outside and it will be intense inside too. So perhaps it's shades of both that you've got going on here. Now, we have the death card. Card of transformation here. It's a card of Scorpio, actually. And we are just about to go into Scorpio season. Interestingly, I think Taurus got this too. <laughs> and it is associated with things like it's in the UK we observe daylight saving I don't know if if you do in this you do in some places in the states not all but we go from you know fairly long evenings it's light in the evenings to suddenly the clock's going back an hour before you know it it's dark at four o'clock it's the day only lasts like six hours in terms of daylight no it's a bit more than that it's about eight hours right <clears throat> but I know certainly in some of the places in, in Northern Europe, the days are much, much shorter than that. There is a sense of passage going from daylight and outside and, and everything that's summer and spring and even early autumn holds for us into something darker, something much more internal, you know, we don't spend as much time outside. <clears throat> it's dark by four o'clock in the afternoon. It's kind of like you get up when it's dark and it's dark well, well before you go to bed. It's the turning of the wheel. But it does also speak about endings of sorts, right? I, I don't really see endings as endings. I see them as transformations, right? Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It merely changes form. And this seems to be what's going on for you. And I feel like the changes in the way that you see things in November are triggered as a direct result of whatever you were working on here before and had to come back at, right? It's, it's almost like you've shifted the way that you think and it's opened your eyes to different things now. Now, the transformation could well be yours. 
and I think that it possibly is because we've got the five of pentacles in reverse now this way around it talks about poverty and it talks about lack it's the second card numbered five that we've seen for you and fives agents of chaos the very disruptive energies but this is focusing on it's not really focusing on that no to be fair five of cups is focusing this is having a sense of lack or a fear of lack coming through when you really drill down into it for me it talks about not meeting your own basic needs and i think that this is what has been revealed to you in some way or another because we have it appearing in the reverse meaning that you are coming out of this sort of energy i mean would certainly lead on very nicely from here <clears throat> it's a transformation of perhaps your internal space but perhaps your external space perhaps both where you are now looking to meet your own basic needs and I'm going to bring it back again to this because I feel like these are the critical cards here. What you learned here is what is transforming things here for you. And we have it with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. New insight, yes. New ways of seeing the world, yes. I think the Page and the Ace of Swords contain very similar energies to me, to, for me. <clears throat> but where the page of pentacles, uh, page of swords, beg your pardon, is about that that shift in thinking. The ace of swords is almost like a light going on in your head. It's epiphanies, you know, perhaps it's even spiritual downloads of some description. But for me, it seems like an insight into what this five of pentacles in this state really represented for you. Because in order for a card to turn up in the reverse, there is sort of a suggestion that it needed to be there in its upright fashion at some point, because this is kind of leaving this behind. It's walking away from it. You can walk away from it if it wasn't there in the first place. A huge transformation here of whatever this Five of Pentacles represents to you, combined with new insights into the world it could be new information coming right in whatever way that that applies and that could be spiritual downloads this could be by conversations this could be by you washing up i mean this is where all my tower card energies hit peeling vegetables washing up scrubbing something and all of a sudden just just things just start lighting up in my head because i've put together something that i did not see before <clears throat> leading to a change in the way that you experience life interestingly enough like the whole one suit is about experience it's about activity it's about doing and living it's about the things that require blood pumping in your veins for you to do you know sometimes it's about creative expression it's new inspiration but whatever it is <clears throat> it feels like it's quite dramatic the changes that happen in november and as a result there's this freedom, this liberation to suddenly start doing things differently because you've left something behind. And again, I'm going to pull back to these two cards here because I think that these, these are the really, really important ones. So whatever has left you feeling slightly rejected, a little bit done over, maybe taken for granted, whatever has left you emotionally confused, particularly with relationships recently, it's been pointing you to something in yourself that required healing. And I feel like the point of that, as uncomfortable and tense as that might make you, is going to free you up in November to start something new and exciting, fulfilling almost. Because where we start to meet our own basic needs, where we don't need to worry about those things, and there's a huge transformation implied there by this. <clears throat> then we can really embrace this and go, you know, with the full potential of what these cards hold, what these mean. It's like, the world is your oyster. And your card, you know, is one of your cards for me is the magician card. It's understanding that you have all of the tools that you need to do whatever it is that you want to do. You can manifest into yourself anything that you want at this time. But you have to notice it. And if you're in a state of not meeting your own basic needs, then you're certainly not in a state of being able to tap into the potential of all of the elements that sit there on the magician's table. And you've got half of them right here. 
possibly it is that the other two need to come in, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, or maybe it is that you already hold them and you did not realise. You know? Very interesting month for you, Gemini. So I'm going to go over to Vimeo now. I know this is really short, it's 20 minutes, very, very short for a monthly reading, but honestly, there isn't anything else to be said here. But I do want to go and pull apart these aces. I want to see what this death card is talking about. And I want to see why this tension for you, why this five of wands is here, because it does not feel like this is <sighs> necessarily something that sits too comfortably initially. So if you'd like to come join me over there, do feel free. If not, no shade. I shall see you next time. But know that I love you all very, very much, and I will see you soon.